one, two, three. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, I ain't messing with you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not messing with you. Mm -mm. Get these dogs fed, cleaned, and vetted. Vetted? Is that a word? Yeah. They're closing? Yes, next Tuesday. Okay, the last thing I want to be when the end of the world comes is sober. Wonder Woman. Whoops! <laughs> Fell off. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um. Good morning. Yes, a big day today. In less than 10 minutes, these doors will open. Oh, they're open now. Look, do you think... Ouch! <laughs> Don't swear. Don't oh, swear. Don't swear. Breathe. Breathe in. Breathe in. <laughs> that was my shin bone. Time shame on me. Second time. Or first time shame on you. First time. Second time. Wow, I totally messed that up. It's all his fault, man. It's okay. First, <laughs> we, get, we get what you're trying to say. Either I start wearing a one piece so it can't be grabbed. That's where WMC Action News 5's Kelly Roberts is live this morning. Kelly, can you tell us what you're saying? Hey, good morning, Ariana and Andrew. Hello. And she hasn't been able to get a test yet. And I last saw her on Thursday. So it's been a week since I've seen her. Hi, this is my cat. That is the perks of working from home. <laughs> um. <laughs> yep. but Let's turn to weather now. If you wanted to get outside, spread your legs a little or stretch a little. Today was a, a great day to enjoy. Meteorologist Craig Flint here now with your Fox First forecast. Um, Craig, yes. take it away. Major food retailers coming together in this way is unusual. It shows that they're trying to send a clear message to their customers to be considerate of each other when it comes to buying, particularly when the most vulnerable in society might not be able to find the items that they need. Of course, it's the month of March Madness. It's also a popular time to get vasectomies. Really? Did you know that, Greg? I know. I Doctors know. at Cleveland said, <laughs> he was looking at me like, Really? Really? Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. I want to show you a live look here. This is uh, Concord Road, excuse me, uh, 31 at, uh, at I-65. Going to go ahead and apologize. My Alexa is uh, going off. Alexa, off. You know, just, just what you get for working from home. Coming up at 10 o'clock, how the coronavirus is affecting the egg industry. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Are you getting this? <laughs> At 10 o'clock, how the coronavirus is affecting the ag industry and how it's affecting our local farms. <laughs> so much leak. To Gateway to the Stars is actually their next one tomorrow. Uh, that's at 7 p.m. Dollars are three tickets. Or Tickets are $3. <laughs> I'm so immersed in this, it's messing me up. Anyway, reporting live, Bay City, uh, Blake Keller, WNEM TV5. Hey, we found out how much the tickets were. <laughs> yeah, gotta love those three ticket dollars. Yes. <laughs> Lorna Gordon at the court in Edinburgh there now. In a moment, um, I forgot your name, Ben. Ben is here with the latest business news that's coming. Oh, it's a busy day. Uh, latest business news coming up in just a moment. First, let's bring our headlines here on Afternoon Live. A sick... Hello to you. I'm Ben Thompson. Simon. And also surprising. We've got those clouds stocked in there this morning. Should hopefully get more peaks of sunshine through the afternoon. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> what is that? Oh my God. If you wanted me to stop, you could have just said something. You don't have to stick your face in there. <laughs> okay. 65 degrees, and as we get into the afternoon, those winds are going to kick up. So a southwesterly breeze at 15 miles per hour, gusting up to about 25. So it will be a breezy day, but those winds will increase even more on Monday. Not as, hmm, that's supposed to be cold. You know what? Blame it on the time change. I don't know. 47 degrees, not as cold, not as hand. 
I don't know. <laughs> wow. All right, so what's in store for today? We got team coverage for you. We're going to start things off with uh, Les Crifton. Ooh, hey, don't splash. Oh. Hey, come on, that's <laughs> rude, man. I got wet. Sorry, bud. Right. Did you got wet, Les? I got wet. Oh, man, I'll yeah. draw you off. Hey, guys, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What does that, that even mean? Right. What does that, that even not mean? Sound right at all. Oh, oh no. Uh, we're going to be in trouble now. <laughs> With a look at our weekend forecast. Hey, Chelsea, good morning. Good morning, John. Good morning to all of you. Our temperatures outside this morning are in the 40s to start the day. It is a mild morning across southern New England with rain showers moving through the area. And we're going to continue to see some scattered rain. Hi, Doreen. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That'll work. We're going to continue to see scattered rain moving through the area as we head through the day today. Uh, the breeze, here I come, the breeze is going to be picking up out of the southwest. Well, welcome to viewers in the United Kingdom and around the world. Oh, I'm here for toilet paper, water, dog food, dog pot, uh, hand sanitizer, uh, rice, beans. I was here three days ago and I was number one. I was number one. I was here before six o'clock. I was number one. Today, look, I tell you I'm going to be number one again, but it's not the case. Toilet paper is a must. Hand sanitizer, it's a must. Hand wipe, it's a must. A bread, peanut butter, yeah! I love it, <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I love it! Oh, this is gonna be a good one. At the Chattanooga Zoo, baby Komodo dragons are making history at just seven months old. Oh, I've got this. I know you do. I do. They are the first babies at the zoo to have just one parent. Komodo dragons can reproduce through a process, John, called parthenogenesis. <laughs> parthenogenesis. <laughs> okay, anyway, you get the point. <laughs> parthenogenesis. <laughs> Instead of mating, the female fertilizes her own eggs. Uh, keeper Max de Groot says the process could be useful to help the population. You made me nervous, okay? <laughs> All right, so Larry, Rob, and Paul, working from home with this whole social distancing thing, I got a message from one of our Facebook, Facebook viewers, Mark Birmingham. He said, take some Hot Wheels and line them up to simulate like you are showing traffic from the helicopter. And I have nothing else to do, so are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's Here see. we go. Oh, this is traffic <laughs> on a normal Chicago weekday. <laughs> this is traffic now. There is no traffic, but there is still construction. So IDOT says you still have to be careful and watch for their workers. Because there is still construction. Got it? Got it. Right okay. now, right now there's, a, there's a TV consultant shedding a tear. <laughs> you know what? Thank God she's that got a boy at home. Bad. Otherwise, that wouldn't have been happening right. in my house. That's awesome. <laughs> I've never heard of, what is it? In, in, Indica. Indica. How do you hear that? Like, is that the hey, kid? Hey, dude, can I have some indica? No, like, no, no. <laughs> have you ever? Well, that would be like the best undercover track? cop. What are you doing? Uh, just hanging around for some indica. <laughs> no, sorry. No, we can, we can do. I, I, I know some. We've done some stories. Indica, indica. Hold on, indica is like a downer. So if someone were to use medical marijuana, indica is something that would probably like knock you out. Sativa is more of like a an, yeah. an, an uplifter. So if you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't look at you. Is this like <laughs> drugs 101? No, but if you go to Lynette, I'm shop, sorry, you, you don't know. You go to a dispensary and get medical marijuana. Usually there's, there's sections. Okay. And, you know. All right, thanks, Tiva, kids. Indica. All right. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no, I'm not. <laughs> I needed that laugh. I, I, it was very good. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> so we're smoking in Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Snoop's back in Long Beach for sure. <laughs> that is the. They're clan. They're waking and baking. They're waking and baking in Long Beach. I swear, I thought they were baking cookies. I swear. 
<laughs> when you said that a couple years ago, I just about died. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> a little smoky out there, a little foggy out there. And from spring heat to chilly weather, I'll let you know when the cold air will move in and temperatures will hit the 40s. That's coming up today on News 3 at 4. Thanks. Mic drop, everybody.